Hello, welcome back to Bendashi Lab Nodding. In this episode, I want to show you how to create this kind of growth simulations using Geometry Nodes uh, simulation branch. So, so what is this exactly? It's currently I'm using Metaballs. The Metaballs is uh, actually generated using Sphertro. And this guy is just another post-processing, just extrusion. But the original points itself for the Metaballs was actually created using geometry nodes and yeah so let's just get started uh, we have the default cube and I will just turn this into something else very quickly we're gonna be using mesh to points today so turning mesh into points of course we get a bunch of points and we want to push these points using noise but we're gonna do it using loop okay so I'm using Blender 3.5 Alpha, but this is for the one with simulation branch. So if you use Shift A, search for simulation, uh, you should have simulation input and simulation output. Okay, so this is actually fairly new, maybe experimental. Uh, Jack's Luke actually posted this a few days ago, I believe. So. Yeah, from Jack's example, uh, I actually created this. Actually, just really simple. We uh, we want to pipe this mesh two points nodes inside simulations, and inside simulations we can do something with the points. Of course, let's save this first simulation points, and I want to make uh, points points that kind of moving around using noise but I want to also make it growing a little bit like using you know like a trail motion trail if you want um, so yeah simulation input and output whatever happening inside the loop will be calculated when we run uh, the animations okay if we play back the timeline so for this example this is actually from Jack's look I just this is the simplest example that I, I could understand at the moment. You can experiment with this. Um, but yeah, for example, if we use uh, combine XYZ, plug into the offset and move it up. If we play back the timeline, this guy will start moving. Okay, so that's a... Uh, that's actually really interesting because we can perhaps use noise and if we if we use the index I believe uh, if we use 4D and an index we can randomize the, mo the motions of the points okay you can see the points there um, I cannot increase the radius here set point radius maybe I can do it here yeah okay so yeah it's moving by the noise it, uh, it's using the noise and it's moving the points inside the loop okay so let's try adjust this noise a little bit so now you can see the noise is moving the points and just continue to move. Okay, this is one way uh, we can do it. You can actually just plug in the noise into the offset and you're gonna get interesting jittery motion. Yeah, okay, slightly different. As you can see there. I don't know why this is happening but just for you to know if we however just use uh, combine with the index plug into the W we get a different motions maybe you like this a little bit better maybe you like you like the other one anyhow uh, from Jack's look example we can also use um, join geometry so we, we can bring in the current position of the points and for each 
frame update is gonna try to duplicate itself so this is the result maybe maybe currently it's a little bit fast um, let me try something let's subdivide our cube first of all subdivide so from cube we, we, if we subdivide the cube we're gonna get like a sphere so these two original positions and then we use noise and then just move and for each uh, whatever the points is moving we're gonna get duplicates of the points so at least that's the that's the theory we can use try using distortion and things like that kind of kind of wondering if we can just use noise and vector math and try to combine the two we're gonna get something that's a little bit more erratic a little bit more interesting um, so in a way we kind of um, kind of creating uh, like a noise that's affecting the motions of the points and then for each frame updated uh, we're gonna get a different motion let me try playing around with the scale maybe even use another vector mass here and scale scale the noise so it's a little bit crazier Now, if you want to bake this, okay, I, I will I will show you. Uh, the baking, if you want to bake this at the moment, it's actually a point. So in order to bake this properly, we need to turn this back into, turn the points back into vertices. And if this is vertices, let's try 100 frames. We can actually file, export, bake as alambic default setting export alambic and then you create a new blend file file import alambic from the desktop we can import the alambic okay so this is gonna be lightweight and it's all it's also cached properly now um, we won't be dealing with trails. I actually want to create like a trails at some point, but for now I will use sphere chop and then use object, uh, get objects data. I'm gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna grab this points data, and I will use metaballs. Just plug in the vertices into the origin of metaballs. It's gonna generate metaballs. I hope using POS yeah okay so this is basically what I want to show you it's a it's pretty basic but also super interesting in a way uh, maybe what's really missing is that because the point is moving so fast and accelerating in velocity they're kind of spread apart and they're not connected to each other anymore if we can actually make motion trails for each point that's uh yeah that's being spawned we can create something that's a little bit more interesting that way so metaballs metaballs of sphere chalk is actually pretty cool and fast um you kind of have to play around with it you can adjust the resolutions the output is currently an actual metaballs objects which is also interesting only sphere chop does that at the moment we can always use mesh viewer so we pipe in the metaballs back into sphere chop and then connect it to mesh viewer and we can push this to the side so we have this output right so now we can actually save this 
make a ball and create a geometry nodes very quickly and we can use extrude we don't need to extrude but i, I just want to show you this that this is actually pretty fast uh, let's scale the elements output of the extruded mesh we can turn it into spike and then now we can merge by distance okay merge by distance will of course make these things a little bit flickering but that's okay uh, actually you don't use it too big you just a little bit you can have you, you can end up with these stars uh, you can try using ambient occlusion try to make this looks nice a little bit like an actual particles kind of growing exponentially okay let's get rid of this merge by distance so let's see yeah so that's basically uh, one experiment that you can do yourself um, I really want to show you how to make trails maybe in the next video if I know how to do it like with the loop you can definitely um, kind of look at each point and then kind of connect the dots of each point and create a curve um, okay blender is frozen at the moment but yeah so if we open blender once again The simulation nodes is really powerful that way uh, we actually have options to use cache and also we can we can start running the simulation based on conditions and then stop the simulations based on conditions you can for example do like an extrusion if the extrusion phase is too small it should stop the simulations but uh, yeah if you turn on the cache and then run the simulations you can then scrub I don't know how to delete the cache however uh, maybe uh, maybe there is a way to delete the cache but I don't know at the moment I just run it that way and I don't know why it jumps as well but the noise is really interesting if you if you didn't use this value If you just use the original noise with the scale, plug this into the offset, you will get something that's a little bit more erratic. Maybe turn off the cache. Yeah. But yeah, but, uh, this is the simulations happening and then this is the original points that's being added each time. So we have like a little bit like motion trail, but I thought this is kind of interesting. You can try using other texture like Voronoi. I don't know what's going to happen. Different, different motions. I think after we did the cache, it's no longer working properly. again what annoying texture plug this color there and plug this into the offset now it's just shooting up yeah Oh yeah, that's a that's a foreign only doing its thing. I thought that's kind of interesting for you to try. Uh, I haven't played around much, but yeah, that's interesting. Definitely more interesting. And then if you want, you can always yeah. If you don't want to bake it, just use uh, point to mesh point to volume 
volume to mesh. It's not like metaball, but this could actually work as well. And you, you're gonna get mesh output. So it's kind of growing, increase the simulation time. And you can use this and mirror it because it's almost like real time. This is probably a fun way to create unusual sculpture, kind of like a growth simulations. Yeah, so, and then at some point, if, if it's the res resolution gets too low, you might need to increase the density or voxel amount. Just be careful, this, depending on your computer memory, this might slow down your machine. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, simulation nodes inside geometry nodes is really powerful. Once again, uh, hopefully you find this useful. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.